Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, the pattern I'm going to tie today for you is a blue winged olive emerger. I'm using the snowshoe hair foot to tie the wings on it. It's a great way to tie an emerger pattern. Um, if you watch my sulfur emerger, it's very similar to it, except I'm going to use a couple different materials to tie it. It'll give it a little bit more buggy look, and this is a, a, a little bit... The sulfur pattern was more of a beginner. This is a slightly bit more advanced fly than the sulfur pattern was. It's going to give you a really, really lively looking fly when it's in the water. It's real, real buggy. And uh, I'm sure it's going to work real well for you for, you know, late winter, early spring when that olive hatch is coming off on a cloudy day. Okay, this one's a blue winged olive emerger. Uh, I'm going to start out on a size 16. This is actually a Daiichi 1120 curved caddis hook. Um, you can use an 1130 would work great too. Um, I'm just tying it on 1120s because that's what I have and it'll work just fine tying it on that. Uh, first thing I'm going to put on, actually brown thread was the first thing I wrapped on. Started it up a little bit back from the eye, going to wrap it back towards the bend of the hook. Next thing I'm going to put on is some brown antron yarn. The purposeless brown antron yarn is going to be the shuck. You know, the casing that the the bug emerges from and what we're going to do is we're going to tie it on it doesn't really matter how long you leave this tag we're going to trim it later but we're going to wrap it lightly and then wrap it down tight and we're going to keep it on the top and we're going to wrap it back into the bend of the hook okay this is very similar to the sulfur. If you watch my beginner sulfur pattern, sulfur emerger, I'm going to tie this very similar to it, but using a couple different techniques and uh, a couple different materials to give it a different look. And this is a little bit more technical than the, than the last one. So, as you saw, I trimmed that off sharp so it laid down nice and thin there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on some dubbing. For the dubbing, we're going to use a new product we got in the shop here. It's from Nature Spirit. This is called Emergence Dubbing. It's uh, Antron, and it's all trimmed up and chopped up. This color here is olive. I like, whenever I, I usually like to use two different colors. I use the lighter in the back and the darker in the front. Um, I'm going to use the olive on this one. We're going to start it in the back. The reason I like this dubbing so much for this fly, excuse me, for this fly, is uh, it gives it a real buggy look. Um, when you wrap this on, you'll see it doesn't wrap down smooth. The other one, I tied it, you know, like a dry fly with super fine dubbing. And um, this one has more of a buggy look. You know, the legs and stuff are coming out of the casing. It's moving around. You're going to see what I mean here. I'm going to wrap it back towards the shuck to get it started. And then I'm going to keep it thin. But as you see, it's going to fray out and you know be lively looking I'm not gonna worry about trimming it off I'm gonna leave it just like that and uh, I'm gonna add just a tiny tiny bit more here we have a very very nice blue winged olive hatch this time of the year around my area here Okay, I want to build up this just a hair so my snowshoe hair will stand up and not lay down against it. Okay, I'm going to take this up and I'm about two-thirds of the way. I'm going to leave about a third of the hook, hook shank untied here for right now. The next thing we're going to put on is the snowshoe hair. And back out here a little bit. Like I said, if you watched the last one, we're going to be using, this is the top, this is the top of his foot, this is the pad. We're going to be tying from the pad. We're going to be taking our hair out of here where it's real coarse and uh, real scraggly looking. This is the stuff that's going to float really, really nice. So we're going to take a clump of this off. And now remember, we're tying a size 16 here, so you don't need a big clump. The olives in our area are pretty small. 16 is actually, you can tie it smaller than 16. 16 is one of the biggest sizes you would actually want to use. Um, you're going to cut off a clump of it and I'm going to zoom back in here. And 
focus. Okay, you're going to cut off a clump. This is a little bit big, but we're actually going to take a lot of this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch off the, the longer ones out here, pull out the longer ones. I'm going to try to get it uniform, kind of like almost as if I'm hair stacking it, but without the hair stacker. So I want to take out the longer ones, make it all one uniform length like you see there. Then I'm going to pinch this down. And I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to take out all of this guard hair stuff to make to thin down the other end. Okay, now you see, like I said, it's not as much as it was before. Now I actually forgot a step, so I'm going to come back to this. I'm just going to sit this down on the table and I'm going to come back to this in a second. The other thing I wanted to add to this fly. So I wanted to add some CDC, okay? I'm going to tie it with an olive. You could tie it with a dun. The color of snowshoe that I'm using is actually done. But I'm going to add a CDC feather in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the CDC feather and the end of it here, I'm going to pull the fibers back, okay? And I'm just going to pop off the end. Okay, so there's no end on that now. And then I'm going to pull all these fibers back and put them and pinch them down like this. And I'm going to sit it on top. I'm going to sit it on top of my hook. I'm going to do a loose loop to get it on top of there. Okay, then I'm going to take my fingers. Once I got it on, I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to run this CDC down over both sides. I want this to wrap the whole way around the hook, but be more, a little bit more underneath. Okay, you can see how I got, uh, it's it's olive, so it blends in a little bit, and it's a little bit longer than I want, so I'm just going to pull them back through, right about there. I don't want it to go past the shuck, so you can, my fibers, my CDC fibers end right, right there where the shuck begins. Okay, and we're going to trim them off. This is going to give like a leggy look, and if you know what CDC does in the water, it'll take air bubbles and stuff, so it's going to really make it add to the, the effect of coming out of the casing. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my snowshoe. I'm going to pinch all this down. I'm going to lay this on top of the fly. Okay, I'm going to find out where I want it, and I want it to go just into the shuck, not very far. The length of it, I want it to get just past the body, just into the shuck a little bit. When I get it where I want it, I'm going to set it down on top, do another loose loop, and pinch it down. Okay, I put about two good tight ones on there, and then I'm going to come in front, put two or three wraps in front, and then back to on top here to get it all tied down then we're going to trim this off okay, we're just going to pull this off cut that at a nice sharp angle and by cutting it at that angle you can see how it tapers right down to the eye and I can build a nice little tapered head here okay now I want to make sure I want to look down on top of the fly you can see how all my fibers are on this side and there's not as much on this side. So I'm just going to take my thumb, just going to spread them around. I want it to lay evenly on both sides, like, like you see there. Make a little nice little wing. Okay, make a nice wrap or two there to get it down where I want it. Now the next thing I'm going to come in is I'm going to come in with the head here and I'm going to use a blue winged olive. This is darker than the olive that I tied on the back so like I said earlier I like to use lighter on the back, darker on the front. I'm just going to come in and wrap a nice little head. This is more of that emergence dubbing, the Antron dubbing. Like I said it really gives it that nice buggy look and like I said, we're tying an emerger here, so it's actually coming out of the shell. There's air bubbles trapped in the in the casing, in that shuck. There's different things, and this will actually this antron will actually give it a more buggy, lifelike look. What I'm doing is I'm tying back towards that snowshoe, and I'm going to wrap down over top of the snowshoe, and I'll try to wrap underneath it, and then come back up here towards the head. 
and I don't want to build a real big head just like that just like I did there looks really nice and then I'm just gonna come in and whip finish this off make about five wraps there and that's all that's to it okay get that tied down nice and tight and trim it off okay now my shuck is just a hair long so I want to come back in here and I want to trim it and like I showed you in the last one I actually want to I want to hold on and I want to kind of cut it with my scissors. I don't want to snip it I want to kind of saw it off to give it that tapered look on the back there and that's all that's to this simple uh, well it's not as simple as the other one but it's still a very easy pattern to tie this is really nice blue winged olive pattern that'll work you know when you see them they're you think they're feeding on the top but they're actually swirling right underneath it they're hitting the emergers this is what you want to tie on here uh, really good looking pattern the snowshoe hair does a really good job floating uh, you know hit it with a little bit of a little bit of your floatant or whatever it'll it'll retire the water a lot better than the CDC will so give this pattern a try I'm sure you'll have a lot of success with it Thanks again for watching. Any of the material, all the material you see in this video, you can buy at our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. Um, make sure you tune into my other videos and subscribe to our channel because I'm going to be constantly putting out new ones here. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger.